Elmo Movie Maniacs, it's that time it is I mark the movie man for the final cut, and it's awards season around here. We've got the Oscars, but we also have the You Reviewers Awards show, and I'm going to do a prediction and consequence show like I do every year for both. Now, today's show is going to be the You Reviewers Awards show 2014 predictions and consequence show. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, first, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for helping me get over 500. It's because of your support I was able to do that. So excited to be finally over 500 subscribers. Very exciting times to come. But uh, for you new folks who aren't new to the channel, uh, basically what I do is I make predictions from various categories from the You Reviewer Awards nominees. And I'm going to predict which ones they pick. Now, I'm not on the ballot. I didn't get a ballot. I don't have an inside track. Uh, I'm just like you folks and don't know who's going to win. So I make my predictions. And depending on how many predictions I get wrong will determine which bad movie movies I see. And now we're not talking about so good or bad movies like I watch on this uh, channel many times. No, we're talking about big budget Hollywood bad films as suggested by other reviewers out there. I got suggestions from them. They were happy to oblige and I'm glad we got some because we got some doozies. And I'm shaking in my boots with how many I get wrong. Now, the You Reviewer Award show is very unpredictable unlike the Oscars. So uh, really my hope of getting any of these right is, is minuscule at best. But I give it a, the old college try anyway because it's just so much damn fun. So we're going to take a look at best director. What am I going to think? I, I think, you know what? I think Scorsese is going to get it. I think the you reviewers are going to do it for Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, I think I'm just rolling the dice there. It's either that or uh, Curon from uh, Gravity. So, you know, it's a toss up and I'm just going to roll the dice, flip the coin and say Martin Scorsese is going to be picked for best director from the you reviewers awards. Now on to best actor. I'm going to say Tom Hanks. There was a lot of buzz about how he played in Captain Phillips and the fact that he did get snubbed in the Oscars. Uh, well, that's what the you reviewers are all about, trying to get it right. So I have a feeling they may just, uh, the dark horse running is Tom Hanks from Captain Phillips. We're going with Best Actress is going to be Kate Blanchett from Blue Jasmine. Uh, again, a lot of buzz, get a lot of great reviews out there, all talking about that performance in Blue Jasmine. I think she's going to win Best Actress. Best Support actor Jared Leto, Dallas Buyers Club, that film that everybody loved. There's such a group of films that came out in the last half of last year, uh, the last, excuse me, third, three months of last year, and, and Dallas Buyers Club was definitely one of those, and I think Jared Leto's going to win Best Supporting Actor. Best Supporting Actress, I'm going with uh, June Squibb from Nebraska. Now, while that's not a film that was seen by everybody, a lot of the you reviewers have seen it, and uh, Nebraska's a phenomenal film, and definitely I think she deserves the Best Supporting Actress. Now, I'm going to go with the best visual effects Gravity, folks. Gravity, I think, will definitely win best visual effects. I kind of you know, would pull for, uh, you know, uh, uh, Pacific Rim, but Gravity just was so mind-blowing, spectacular, uh, and with the shots that they had that uh, really encompassed me even more than Pacific Rim, though I totally enjoyed Pacific Rim. And most underrated film, one of the You Reviewers exclusive categories, I think best, uh, most underrated film is going for A Place Beyond the Pines, a film that nobody really was aware of out there, but uh, those who do watch films really watched it, and it loved it, and really deserved more attention than it got. Place Beyond the Pines for a most underrated film. And finally, Best Picture, which is actually being chosen by you folks out there. That's right. Go to the You Reviewers Awards show uh, page at theschmoesno.com and you can actually vote for Best Picture. They wanted to include you and I think that's wild. And I really think though it's going to be 12 Years a Slave. That film just overall is one of the best pictures of the year, though any one of them in the list on the choices that you have could would would be worthy of a win. So there's my uh, predictions, folks, and my consequences. Well, if I get one to two of these consequences wrong, which I definitely probably will, I'm going to have to watch movie 43. That was suggested by Daniel Res uh, Rester. I'll put a link down to all, all these fine folks' uh, channels down below. Now, if I get three wrong, I'm going to have to watch movie 43, and I'm going to have to watch The Family, which was suggested by Two Jews on Film. And if I get four or more wrong, I'm going to have to watch the big
Big Wedding, which was uh, suggested by Gab and Dad, along with The Family and Movie 43. So those are going to be the three films that I'm going to have to watch and review for the channel should I get uh, so many wrong in my predictions, which I probably will because the You Reviewers Awards, unlike the Oscars, are very unpredictable, and that's what makes them a lot of fun to watch. So check it out folks keep an eye on the you reviewers when they announce their winners and after that i'll let you know what my consequences will actually be i appreciate you watching this video and remember folks till next time keep that ticket stopped